Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya. Everybody, praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. Yeshahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over. In the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid, <coughs> sorry, solid gray border with a tick in a white circle around my name that is me brothers and sisters anybody in the comment section pretending to be me is a wicked dirty devil please rebuke and report them please watch the video to the end there's a sinner's prayer there for you if i don't say the sinner's prayer check this the description box or the pinned comment section for the sinner's prayer brothers and sisters we want you into the kingdom of heaven and we want you to repent and turn from all the evil ways all right thank you for liking the videos thank you for sharing the videos thank you for watching the videos thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters really really appreciate it thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel if you're new here you're absolutely welcome i pray to the most star that this will be the home of the prophetic the home of the prophetic for you that you will get all your prophetic um answers on this channel to the glory of the most high hallelujah thank you brothers and sisters for those of you who have blessed me through paypal and also on this platform higher eternally bless you as well brothers and sisters for helping me out and also brothers and sisters i have a little project going on in the form of go fund me please check the description box or the pinned comment section you will see the reason why i'm asking for this help listen brothers and sisters if you can help me and you know you can please go ahead and do so if you cannot do it it's absolutely fine prophecies on this channel will remain the same nothing will change still love you just the same it's just that i need a bit of help at this moment in time so please read the reason why i'm asking for the gofundme help all right brothers and sisters thank you so very much hallelujah all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah yes the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty yeah the dirty nasty antichrist brothers and sisters daniel 7 verse 25 is truth it will be fulfilled satan through the antichrist will seek to change times and laws it is going to happen this world will become relentless yesiah hallelujah says that pray to what to be found worthy to escape these wicked things coming upon the earth i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 she flees into the wilderness the fleeing into the wilderness represent the great worldwide second exodus of a highest people out of wicked dirty babylon she's got the 12 stars on her head representing the 12 seed of jacob the 12 sons of jacob the remnant of jacob that went through what the transatlantic slavery hurt and harm dispersed scattered all over the world all over the place a higher is going to regather that remnant people say to me sister carrie the regathering has already happened because John Hagee, Paula White, Benny Hinn, and all these mega pastors says that the regathering has happened in 1948. God went down into Europe and told the Ukrainians to go back to their homeland, Israel. Brothers and sisters, first and foremost, the Europeans are not from Israel. They're from the Caucasus Mountain. That's why they're called Caucasians because they're from there. They're not from the original um israel that is not where they're from so don't let these people fool you brothers and sisters these wicked pastors are evil up there in the pulpit they're tricking the people and telling them lies but the second exodus the regathering of a highest people you can read jeremiah 30 you can read isaiah chapter 11 uh, Jeremiah 16, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51, uh, Revelation 12, it tells you 
and then after the second exodus then the sixth seal opens up that is a beautiful son of the most son of son of ahaya coming in the claws of glory yesaya coming for the church we have a prophetic theme song called we are near it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl um she's had sweeties and toys and um and we're near to this stuff so the song goes like this how oh, now you are oh now you are oh now you are oh now oh now you are oh now you are oh now you are oh now hallelujah yes we are near and we can sing that song with Right, confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I have two ministries one for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yashahelites. And this is an end time prophetic video. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. I've been warning concerning April the 8th, isn't it? I've been warning about this date. Oh, Father God of creation. I've been warning about April the 8th. I said to brothers and sisters, I've said it. Please, please, please get your water in. Get your non-perishable food in. Get your toilet papers. Get your, your, your candles. Get your matches. In. Listen to me. Something is off. I've been warning brothers and sisters and I've been telling them something is desperately off. You need to cover yourself spiritually. When the solar eclipse is going on, because I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, there is going to be a change in the atmosphere as we enter into a crossover, as we enter into a new dispensation. And this dispensation, brothers and sisters, is a, is a dispensation of destruction. It is not good. This is not the three days of darkness. It is not but i am telling you brothers and sisters oh my gosh i love you lord please share this video share this video please get food in before the 8th of april hallelujah yes father get food in before the 8th of april please something is desperately wrong today i came across this and when i saw it i said father god of creation Father God of creation, these wicked people, oh mighty God, mighty God, mighty Father, Ahaya, these people are going to use April the 8th because it's going to be darkness for a period of time. They're going to create the occultic witchcraft is going to happen, brothers and sisters. They're going in the depths of the belly of the spiritual wickedness of darkness. I'm telling you. So I saw this. Brothers and sisters, I saw this. I think somebody sent it to me, but I wasn't paying attention. But I went on to Google to um, go on my Amazon account. And sometimes when I go on Google, things pop up, right? And I saw this and I said, Father, what is this? What is this? So this is from, listen to this now. I don't even know the date that this was done. I didn't get the date should have should have um thingy the date but anyway this is this 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 that i'm about to tell you brothers and sisters this is no joke listen to this nasa you know what nasa is isn't it nasa has announced it will what fire three mockery number in it number three that's a mockery for the Illuminati. Third eye. Three. Yeah. Three scientific sounding rockets. Into the moon's shadow. On Monday. April 8th. During a partial solar eclipse. Across North America. Are you listening brothers and sisters? Are you listening? One more. Huh? Eh? Are you? Edges. What took the place downstairs? I'm coming. Are you sorry, brothers brother and sisters, my kids? Are you listening, brothers and sisters? What the wicked is going to do? Where have you ever seen a solar eclipse? 
that the wicked says they're going to send rockets into the shadow of the eclipse. Speak to me, church. Wake up. <laughs> oh, God. Wake up, church, please. Wake up. Wake up. The wicked says they are, they are going to send three. Three, not one. Not two, but three. And we know that the number three in the Illuminati is wicked. That's the highest thing, isn't it? Three rockets into the moon shadow. Why? Why? Why are you going to fool around with the eclipse? Greater agenda. <laughs> Get in your food. Brothers and sisters, especially those of you in Babylon, US, get your food, your non perishable food, and get your water, get your meat if you can. I know some of you may not have any money, I know. But something is desperately wrong. I am telling you, I've been warning, I've been warning for the past three weeks concerning April the 8th because the Lord showed me in my spirit. Now they're going to send rockets into the shadow of the eclipse. Three rockets. In what will be a total eclipse for a 115 miles wide path through parts of Mexico, 15 US states and Canada, partial solar eclipse for the entire Americas. The event will see a sudden drop in what? Sunlight. All right. So why are you sending rockets into the shadow of the eclipse? Why? Let's continue. The Space Agency atmospheric um, um, around the eclipse path will investigate how that drop in what? Sunlight and temperature affects Earth. Hang on. So you're sending a rocket up in the sky during the eclipse. <laughs> you're sending rockets up in the sky during the eclipse to find out the effect on why the sun temperature drops, why the sunlight drops, how long has eclipse has been going on for years and no rockets have been sending up there. They're just writing papers, oh, well, you know, the sun or, or the moon, whatever where it is. Whether it's a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse, right? It blocks out sunlight and so on and so forth. So what's the big deal with this April the 8th stuff? Why are you sending rockets up there? And that's what... <laughs> I said it to brother, I warned the church, I warned brothers and sisters. I said that we're entering a different, we're crossing over. It's a different atmosphere. I'm telling you, um, I have to do another video. What the Lord showed me. Um, in the realm of the spirit, that is going to happen on April when the place gets dark, when the when the actual total eclipse begin to happen, and the holy of totality, a high show me in the realm of the spirit. What I saw is frightening, brothers and sisters. But I will do that video, and I will release what the Most Star is showing me. So. They want to investigate the reason why they're sending the three rockets up there. They want to investigate how sun, how, how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth upper atmosphere. Well, they should know this by years and years and years and years ago from ever since the eclipse has been happening. So why now? As if they don't know. They do know. So <clears throat> this apep, apip. APEP, -E that's what it's called. This APEP is named after, so the, the rockets. They, they, they listen to me, Church of God. This thing cannot get any clearer than what it is. This three, these three rockets that's going into the shadow of the eclipse, right? <laughs> it is called Serpent Deity. Serpent deity. That's what they're calling the rockets. But is it rockets though? Is it rockets they're going to shoot off up there? And who is going to see this rocket? Because certainly when they shoot rocket up there in darkness, we should see a boom of what? 
I don't know. Is it going to explode up there, up in the sky? So this APEP, or A-P-E-P, -E -P, I call it APEP, is named after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, nemesis of the sun deity, Ra, according to NASA. These people are going into some serious occultic stuff. You have to cover yourself. I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch the eclipse, but you're going to watch it at your own risk. That's all I can say to people. You watch that solar eclipse and you're watching it at your own risk. And if you do watch a solar eclipse because you want to see it, you've got to cover yourself underneath the blood of the Most High. Because there you have it, NASA is already telling you what is going to happen. That the serpent deity business, right? That they're going to send up there in the atmosphere. They say it's rocket rockets. That is what they say. But who knows? <laughs> Listen to me, man. What the Lord showed me in the spirit, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video about it. <clears throat> because this thing is getting out of hand. You see, we're in the last days. The kingdom of darkness is real. They want to take over. They're desperately for Satan to rule. They're desperate for dirty, nasty, evil Lucifer to rule planet Earth. And so you're seeing these things in front of you. So the rockets are called serpent deity. Named after the serpent. The apex is named after the serpent deity. From ancient Egypt. Mythology. Nemesis. Of the sun deity. Re, <coughs> Ra. According to NASA. So NASA has named these rockets serpent deity. Wake up church. So. The rockets won't launch into totality. Ooh, I wonder why. Why won't launch into totality? But what they're going to do when it's partially blocked and the shadow, you can see the shadow of the sun or is it the moon? They're going to send the rockets into the shadow. But why? Because they want to test the atmosphere. They want to test the temperature. They want to know why a sudden drop in sunlight because it's been blocked out, mate. That's what it is. Why sending rockets up in the sky to scare everybody? I'm telling you, you know, brothers and sisters, this is why they closed some of the schools over there in Babylon. A higher caused them to close the school. Don't be thinking, oh, you know, they're closing the school out of goodwill. No, it's the work of a higher on the hearts of the wicked that's telling them, you know, close the schools. A higher, that's a higher's doing. I'm telling you. It's not because out of goodwill why they're doing it. Because it's, if it was up to them, they'll leave the schools open. And then people being panicked to go and pick up the kids. But something is desperately wrong. So now they're saying that the rockets won't launch into totality. So when it's fully eclipsed and the whole entire place go into darkness, they won't send the rockets. They're only going to send it when it's like half eclipsed so you can see the shadow. Instead, they'll go from Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops Island, or wherever Wallops Island is, right? Um, so they're going to go from Virginia Island, Virginia Island, um, from where 81% of the sun will be blocked by the moon. That moment will happen at whatever time through the eclipse take, um, will take part between two o'clock and four o'clock whatever time there is um so this thing with this rocket business brothers and sisters that they're gonna send up in, into the sky i mean we as a church we don't sit and fear things yes it's overwhelming we're not gonna lie because we're human beings but we're not gonna bite our fingernails in fear because greater is he that is inside of us than he that is in the world. And he that is in the world is dirty Lucifer. It's Satan. And he that is in, inside of us is the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, that sits on the throne rooms of our hearts. So we're not walking up and down in fear. Yes, I talk about these videos, but we're not running up and down in fear. What we do, we prepare ourselves. That's all we do, we prepare physically and spiritually and i think that is this is a spiritual preparation that they're, they're telling you right in your face serpent deity 
the rockets, they call them serpent deity. So is it really rockets that they're going to send up up there? That's why I'm going to, I can't wait to do the video about what the Lord showed me. Because it goes hand in hand with this. Literally goes hand in hand with this that I'm telling you about, brothers and sisters. Like I say, you know, if you're going to watch that thing, that solar eclipse business, you must cover yourself underneath the blood. Pray before you watch it. Because what's going to come over people is going to be a different influence. Because we're in the we're in the period of the kingdom of darkness. Because a higher the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we know that before Yesaya returns, right? Before Yesaya returns for his people, we're going to go through a period of wickedness. A period of lawlessness. A period of the beast system. A period of the antichrist system. Where you won't find the Holy Ghost. You won't find Ahaya, the father. You will not find Yesiah, the son. But look what the wicked is doing, brothers and sisters. They're telling you that they're sending rockets up into the eclipse. Why? Because they want to find out about the temperature. You are telling me over the years and years and years and years of solar eclipse or lunar eclipse. They don't know what happened. Of course they do know what happened. They know when it's, when it's eclipse, the birds come out. They hear a little chirping. Because to the birds, it's night. All sorts of nocturnal animals come out. <clears throat> because the whole place is dark. They know that the temperature drops. Because the sun isn't shining. They know all these things. But no, descending the serpent deity. Serpent deity. You know, somebody sent me a video and they said, Sister Karen, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I don't know where the place was, but over there in Babylon, US, it was a massive press conference of preparing for the solar eclipse. I've never seen anything like it. Never. Proper. You, you would think, well, mind you, it's a May Day, you know, but um, there were just something isn't right. Something isn't right, brothers and sisters. I, I do you know what? I, I do believe they're gonna try and take the grid down. Honestly, I do. I do sincerely believe. I believe that the wicked is gonna try and take that grid down, so people won't have any light, power, no light, no electric. Bits and pieces. I really believe it, brothers. And they're going to blame it on the solar eclipse. Get your food in, brothers and sisters. Get your what? It's best to prepare yourself. This new dispensation that we're heading into, it's not. It's, it's survival of the fittest. That's all I can call it, really and truly. Literally, survival of the fittest. In this new dispensation that we're enter, entering into. It's not going to be pretty. But Ahaya is protecting the children. He allows some of the schools to be closed. And he allow the messengers. He allow the prophets and the prophetesses to come out and warn. I've never warned about a solar eclipse. Like, yeah. But this one, April the 8th. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, it feels different. Something is desperately wrong. Desperately wrong. Not, not a little tiny bit wrong. Or maybe, no. Desperately. Something is desperately, desperately wrong. And now you have NASA. Satan's mouthpiece. Oh, that's what I call them. NASA. The enemy. Right? Who fights against the most high. Who's trying to get whatever up into glory. Which they can't anyway. Right? They're trying to reach heaven with their rockets and this and that. As if they can come out of the firmament. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't allow. They can't even come out of the firmament. Because the firmament is like a dome. And nobody can really break through that dome. So, yeah. And when they say they go here and they go there. They're, they're still in the firmament, brothers and sisters. Right? 
But it's beggar's belief, really. Absolutely, absolutely beggar's belief that this thing they call serpent deity and they got the name from the sun deity Ra Re or Ra R A Egyptian myth you see Babylon US is, is spiritual Egypt Babylon US spiritual Egypt and if it's, it's you know being spiritual Egypt is worse than the physical Egypt because the physical Egypt down there in the Middle East they call it it's just physical isn't it down there in Africa that's just physical but when something is spiritual it's, it's the most wickedest and dangerous thing or place it can be in Babylon US that country I'm telling you spiritual Egypt that place it really is they do all sorts of wickedness over that place because the fallen angel of gain access to to the most you know to the to the to technology they gain access to the music industry they gain access to the movie they gain access to all these things to bring across destruction and hurt of the people and to turn their attention and to turn their minds away from the living and true ahaya that is that is the number one for babylon i'm telling you not only babylon us but babylon uk is to turn the people mind away from the creator and if they can get you to turn your mind from the sweet lord of heaven then they've won the battle because they know that you're going to end up in hell anyways with their dirty master lucifer but to say that these rockets can't get over it. So they're sending these rockets to investigate sunlight and drop of temperature, which they already know. Apep is named, these are the rockets. It's named after the serpent deity. Serpent deity. So you're telling me that NASA couldn't come up with a different name? No, because they're telling you who they worship. Come on now, church of God. These people are telling you right in your face, right in your face, who their allegiance is to. And that is to the serpent. That is what they're telling you, church. Their allegiance is to, NASA's allegiance is to Satan, the serpent. Oh, mighty God. When will your people wake up higher? wake up wake up church please understand the times hallelujah understand the times and the season that we're in nemesis of the sun deity Ra, according to satan's mouthpiece Na nasa Satan mouthpiece, Nasa. <laughs> Mighty God, help us, Father. Help your church to wake up. This is hard meat, but it's the truth. Rockets, is it rockets, though? But I'm going to do another video, what the Lord showed me. I'm going to do another video, Mighty God. Help us, Lord. They tell us things. In plain sight, people, 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 please share this video. If you're going to watch the solar eclipse on April the 8th, 2024, please make sure you're covered underneath the blood of Ahaya. Hallelujah. I do not trust NASA. I do not trust these three rockets. I don't believe it's rockets. But I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do another video what the Lord has revealed in my spirit. What these things are. I saw it in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Father God. Oh, mighty God of creation. We are doing a crossover. We are crossing over, brothers and sisters. There's a cross.